Alright guys, and here I am at a, one of the other spam wire lights that are in the process of, of uh, being replaced. Um, here's the one I, I told you about. Um, you can see I'm on a neighborhood street right now on the side. And as you can see, uh, the pole has new lights for, um, for the uh, neighborhood street. So I guess, they, uh, I guess they're going to have to stop now as well if, um, you know, if, um, if they have a red light. Because you can see the, uh, the spam wire light right there doesn't have the uh, lights going to the um, neighborhood street. So I guess, um, I guess this must be for safety or something. I mean, you know, um, are people actually going to stop at these lights? Obviously, that's yet to be determined. But uh, I guess we'll see what happens when the uh, time comes for it. Um, uh, what is it? And here's another part I told you about where um, you can see that the, uh, if I got it on camera, yeah, there it is. That, that, that's the new turn signal right there. The, uh, the uh, shrouded light, and as you can see, it's not even in line with how the span wire light is. Uh, you can see the turn signal right there. That's that's perfectly in line with the uh, with the turn lane, but uh, this new one on the pole isn't. So that's one of the problems with the poles. You know, they can only go so far before they got to end them, and it doesn't even span the whole intersection. So that was the point I made back when I made that other traffic light video back in uh, back in March, I think it was. So. Um, you know, hopefully once they activate these new lights, they'll work properly. It's yet to be determined, but we'll see. So, um, it's basically it, guys, okay? Uh, sounds like there's an ambulance or something coming, so, uh, I'll end it here, okay? Uh, thanks for watching, as usual.